My name is Venice French. I live in Fresno, California. I work for Mendota Unified, coaching and teaching chess. I was never a well child. Here's me and my younger brother, Michael. I found out I had a heart disease. And after 13 years of monitoring my weight, putting in ICD units, doing everything correctly, the heart kept going into AFib. So we agreed that we needed to see Stanford. I saw him initially and I thought, when I saw his echocardiogram, my gosh, this patient's heart is so poor. The big issue with cardiac transplantation is timing. It can't happen until patients are in good shape. Now, with the total artificial heart, those patients can wait and get stronger, and they can wait until they get the right heart. But this patient was very sick, and things were getting worse. And he was at a baseball game, and he had a cardiac arrest. He basically coded at the baseball game, and he had a friend who was there who knew what to do to, to help him restart his heart and keep him alive to the time to get to the emergency room. As soon as that happened and I got the call, I said, that's it, we have to go forward. This man needs a total artificial heart. A total artificial heart replaces the right and left ventricles. It's a pneumatically driven device. You have two ventricles, and each chamber within it, which we call a ventricle, has a diaphragm that goes up and down. It's a device used only in patients who are bridged to transplant. The first goal is to get them to a heart transplant. The time that they talked to me about doing a total artificial heart, I was scared. To be perfectly honest, I canceled three times. But I also recognized that I went into cardiac arrest with no warning. Who knows the next time you'll be asleep or you will be out walking your dogs and no one knows where you're at. So I decided to go forward with the surgery. When I woke up, I saw my younger brother, which gave me great joy, of course, to know that I was on this side and that the surgery was successful. Then I heard this device and I just looked over and going, oh, so you're now my new friend. It does feel extremely weird with the fast heart rhythm. It's just mind blowing that something like that is in me. On December 30th, 2013, I received a natural heart. The morning that I received the notice that I got a heart, I got up, I did my walk, and Dr. Hall, who's my head tending is not there. He's prepping for surgery. Turns out that the heart had become made available. By the time he got to the operating room, he was in pretty good health. And uh, you know, I think because of that, he's been doing great so far. I always tell my patients that if they crawl into transplant, they will be crawling out of transplant. But if they walk into transplant, they will walk out or even run out of transplant. Well, that can't happen until patients are in good shape. And I think that's really what started convincing us that both left ventricular assist device therapy and the total artificial heart were actually helping our patients get stronger and then in a leisurely fashion, get to transplant. I used to get up in the morning, kind of, oh God, it's morning already. Now I get up, oh man, gotta get the day started. All right, let's go, let's get busy. Let's make this happen. Now I look at each day as a gift. 